Okay, there we go. Correct orientation, correct title. We're fine. We are we are making this. I ate a whole ass, big ass slice of chocolate cake, and I think that amount of sugar has um, got me a little bit dizzy. Hello, good evening, y'all. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the live stream. Hi, RJH. Hello, hi, Ray Ray. Can you guys type hi? Type your name. Tell me where you are. Where are you watching this from? Hi, Derek. Hello, who else have we got? And give me a thumbs up while we're getting started. I know it's early for me to ask that, but it lets me know that you're here, you're paying attention, you're tapping the buttons. Hi, Brian. Hello, B from 313, Detroit, Michigan, in your bedroom in Vancouver, in Missouri. Hi, Joel. Ruben from Colorado, Manitoba, Jamaica. Gary, Jesse, Michigan. I'm from Michigan. I'm not there right now, but I love Michigan. Brett from Ohio, North Carolina, Texas. I got a lot of Texas pride too. Orlando, Ontario, California. So far, I'm counting like four time zones. Hi, Tim Gilliland. 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 Peter from Montana. Smith, Kareem Ali, Saeed Rostami. Hello. Good evening, gentlemen. How was your weekend? How was Saturday? I fully started this live stream and then was like, I don't know if there's going to be many the people that are online on Friday night. And then I had to remember it's actually Saturday night. I am a workaholic. That's why I um, am working all day. I worked all day today. I didn't even know it was not a work day. And you know what? I love it. I freaking love my job. Uh, basically, yesterday I got paid to masturbate. That's cool. I was upset and then I was like, I have to like go and play with these sex toys that these companies want me to review. And then I was like, oh, I don't want to go home and have to play with these sex toys. Like what a tough life. And then I was like, oh my God, I am getting paid right now to be in pleasure. I'm getting paid to enjoy pleasure. And, uh, that is pretty cool. Hi, John. John says I am great in bed. Yes. Excellent. Well, I also believe we can all get better. Uh, D money said, what Edwin said, hi, Ta lucky me. I know I'm, a, I am grateful sending a wave of gratitude through my body. Uh, Lord Gelgen said he became a massage therapist this week after two long years of work. Yes. What else? Okay. What else are we celebrating? And when my client calls, I always make everybody start with celebrations because, uh, oh, thank you, Rogello, Rogello. Thank you, Surf, Surf Moore. Good name. Um, I make everybody start with celebrations. So what are you celebrating? I'm celebrating the fact that I got paid to masturbate. Not like on camera, like by myself. Like got paid to try a new sex toy. I guess I could have tried it without masturbating, but I got paid to try a new sex toy. That's a cool part. That's a perk of my job. Meeting new people. Yes, celebrating. What else can we celebrate? Tim, what are we celebrating? David, what are we celebrating? D-Money. Celebrate. Roger. I liked Rogelio Caballero. Close. No cigar. What are we celebrating? Give me celebrations. Celebrating watching me. Thank you. I'm excited that we're here too. Bob says, if I need a hand, let me know. Thank you. Ray Ray says, happy to be here. I'm really close to the camera. I am. I'm high on chocolate cake. I had a lot of sugar. Come on, what are we celebrating, y'all? What were your wins? Like, I worked out this week. I didn't work out this week. I had a birthday. I got a new job. I got finished my massage therapy degree. I gave Caitlin a thumbs up today, and she appreciated it. I don't even know where the thumbs up button is on the live. I assume it's the same. Does this look like the same as a YouTube video? Uh, hello from North Africa. Libya, Abdallah and Libya. Roger, can I teach you someday? What do you want to What do you want to learn? Let's do it right now. What do you want to learn? We can do it right now. Okay. But that's not what the point of this video is. The point of this video is I wanted to talk about sensitive penises. So as a lot of you know, hi, Ta. Hi, Alu. Jenny. Being able to get through my therapy exercises on my right hand. Yes. Good job. Edwin says my wife's birthday. Kevin says, hey, from, I thought, oh, it started with a C, but it disappeared. Colorado, Canada, California. My back is feeling better, says Paul. Roger, a lot more about sex. That's what he wants to learn. We're going to teach you that. 
Ta. Yes. Good. Get ready. We're just gonna we're gonna start this in a second after we get celebrations, because that is how I like to start my calls. Question on delayed ejaculation. Okay, stick around to the end. We'll get there. Life. Hola. Hola, Rafael Torres. I'm doing I'm doing uh, uh, pronunciations today. Rohit Ashva. Rohit Ashva Rathor. Hello from India. I want to learn what turns you on. Ah, uh, that's a good question. It's inconsistent. I had a fantasy. Well, it wasn't a fantasy. It was like a dream last night about my uh, college orientation. It got a little sexy. And it's been a long time. Uh, I have more than 10 years since that. But, um, you know, that's the brain, the mysteries of the fantasy world. Damn that wash shot. I don't know. Maybe he's responding to somebody else's. Thank you. Okay. Do we have more? Come on. More celebrations. I'm not going to get started. I'm not going to talk about this tip until I have more celebrations. Give me good news, folks. What are you stoked about? What are your wins this week? What is? What are you winning in your life? What is going right in your life? I need it. I love your channel. Thank you, Roger. D-Money's got questions. Come on, y'all. Get into the chat. Celebrating that I'm scrumptious as fuck. Yes, bushcrafter beginner. You for real? I am for real. Being alive. Yes, sending a wave of gratitude for being alive. You know, also I want to celebrate. I, uh, I pushed myself and I went out like three nights this week. I said yes to everything I got invited to. I was just like instant yes. Went to some um, uh, places that were on my bucket list. Talked to my spirit guides. I'm working more than usual. Going with the flow. Had my first four way and lasted for five hours. Yeah, Peter, Paul, stock market high. Started reading the Kama Sutra. Oh, having the opportunity to work one on one with Caitlin, who made a difference in my life. Thank you. Tim sounds fun. Isn't this nice? Like, don't we enjoy celebrate? Isn't celebrating a like a, a perfect way to start? Like, we could be. Listen, if you watch the news, if you leave your house, if you turn on social media, like, there's so much bad news out there. Roger says he's getting better at turning his life around. Yes. Yes. Ray Ray's been watching my videos. Thank you, Ray Ray. There's so much bad news out there. You do not have to look very far to find bad news. Bob says a date with you. A date with me would probably upset my husband. Um, I hate that's all I got to say on that. Sorry, Bob. Uh, just I hate when I hate to upset my partner in life uh, unfortunately so anyways there's tons of bad news out there I like to start with some good news okay now for the reason that you all tuned in to this live event this evening I want to talk to you about a theoretical application of a new tool that I just got thank you Bonzo uh, a new tool that I just received and that I've been playing around with a lot for myself but it really got me thinking that there's an application for this tool for men who feel that they have overly sensitive penises. So premature ejaculation or even just not being able to control your ejaculation is sometimes for some men related to having an overly sensitive penis, overly sensitive glands, frenulum, the bottom, the head, like for some men, there really is a relationship between penile sensitivity and ejaculation. Now, it's never alone. I just want you, let's just get that right out there. It's never just an overly sensitive penis. It's always overly sensitive penis plus other stuff. But that doesn't mean that we don't have to tackle the sensitivity part. Like the sensitivity, sensitivity part is still important, right? Like, so what are we talking about here? We're talking about penis is being overly sensitive, causing premature ejaculation. The money respects marriage. Thank you. No twin. I have a brother. So sorry. If I find doppelgangers of myself, I'll ask them if they want to uh, become available for dates. So overly sensitive penis head is one of the contributing factors to early ejaculation. Uh, give me a hands up, a thumbs up, or like comment in the section like I agree. Or if you've had some personal experience where you think your penis and its sensitivity has caused you to ejaculate early, like let me know. Distress, uh, Rohit Shva 
says, does stress play a part of the time of having sex? Yes, absolutely does. It's not just about the sensitive peanuts, it's also stress. But guess what? Stress, we can tackle, right? Stress is a mind thing, yeah. Uh, uh, stress is felt in the body, but it's a combination between brain and body that feels and experiences stress. But sensitivity is something that we can control for. So who here has ever used or heard of a numbing spray or cream? Or ever tried to use one for premature ejaculation? No, says D Money. Here, Ta has Brett. I don't know if the thumbs up is for. A lot of you have. Numbing creams and numbing sprays actually, um, they do have a role to play for sure. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna diss them. The, no tea, no shade on the numbing cream. But I personally don't think that it's, um, it's going to be. It's not the best solution for all men. Uh, it's not the best solution for all men. And one of the reasons for that is just that it's sort of inconvenient to use. You have to wash it off. Um, you know, some creams have to be applied generally. Some have to be applied all over. Some come with sprays. Some come with, uh, in like little benzocaine pads. I, yeah, anyways, they're not a long-term solution. At least I think, to, I think they can be, they have a time and a place. But there's another theory for how you deal with an overly sensitive penis can anyone here guess what it is? Type into the chat what you think this is called. A way of dealing, pardon me, with overly sensitive penis that isn't a numbing cream. C-T-E-S says slap it. Slap, what is it, the bass guy? What does he say, slap the bass, slap like? I don't remember. Peppermint oil, KY jelly intense. I've not heard of that one, practice, going slow. Not a long-term solution. Yes, some people. Oh, yes. Jenny says some women are allergic to benzocaine. So true. Great point. Delay oil. Some people have used uh, clove oil, which you can also use on your teeth. You have a toothache. Smells like winter. Uh, knowing your point of no return. Davey504. Yeah. Slap. Slap. Would that be funny if I did more videos that were sort of like Davey504 condom? Yes, exactly. So I'm really surprised because no one's really said uh, the thing that I'm going to talk about on this video, which is D sensitization, which is decreasing the sensitivity of your penis by throwing a ton of sensation at it in practice. So, so exposing your penis to like a lot of sensation so that when you go to have sex with your partner, it's not quite so sensitive. So I'm trying to think of another, like a real life, uh, uh, example of where else this, this works. It's almost like when you're exposed to anything over and over again, then you start to lose your sensitivity towards it. Um, mm, never try to come up with examples on the fly. Um, like alcohol might be a good example. Like you build up a tolerance to alcohol, right? And suddenly like one drink doesn't do the same thing that four drinks. Um, would dense sensitizing work with sensitive female as well? Jenny, will you put a little bit more information on like what, is there something wrong with a female being too sensitive? Um, so desensitization. Yeah, I know alcohol is not the best example. I just, um, couldn't think of a better one. What is something else? What is something that you might, oh, you know, when you, when you open your eyes, uh, and it's really bright out and it just sort of like takes your eyes a second because they're like super sensitive to light But then as soon as they've had a minute to adjust that they can like kind of regulate think about this like this But for your penis so the more uh, uh, Physical sensation that you throw at it and then all of a sudden you Are able to like rebalance or refine a medium now the reason that I'm talking about this is because I just got these two new toys if you look at my um, YouTube stories or if you follow me on Instagram, you can follow me on Instagram uh, Caitlin Victorious X. In fact, you can, if you're not watching this on your phone, go right now. If you're watching on your phone, just wait. I'll give you the, we'll wrap up the call. I'll wrap up the call. Mm, I'll wrap up the live stream and then I'll give you my Instagram name again. You can go friend me. So I got these two, whoop, got these two new toys in the mail. No, now they're both upside down. All right, good job. <laughs> they're the Zumio S and the Zumio X. And both of these toys are really sort of aimed at women. Uh, people with clitorises because as you can see by this box they're basically a, uh, a vibrating clitoris toy clitoris um, stimulator right and this is what most of us see when we think of this thing so check this out can you see it vibrating there's it still 
And there's two versions. There's the other still one. And then there's the vibrating. Yes, this is what I got paid to use last night. Ah, one of my ons is Sima Sima. Chocolate cake. <laughs> That's the truth. Don't If you don't eat a lot of sugar and then you do eat sugar, man, that'll mess your ass up. Anyway, so these toys. The... Zumio X and the Zumio S, they are clitoral stimulators. This little guy, this like this end right here, packs as much of a wall up as a Hitachi Magic Wand. Do you all know what a Hitachi Magic Wand is? You ever seen one of those? They're like this big. They're literally like the size of a tennis ball and they vibrate like, it's like a blanking earthquake on your body. I mean, they're great. If you have muscle pain, you can like use them on your neck and your back. Like they're really, really strong. If you don't have one and you want one, I'm pretty sure I still have a discount code on adamandeve.com. But I don't personally like the Hitachi Magic Wand. It's like so much stimulation. And because it's so big, you put it over your body. It's like, it's like your whole vagina. Like it's clit and it's labia and it's everything. If you put it on, um, you know, if you want to put it on your anus, it's like you can't even get it in between your sits bones and your butt cheeks. It's so big. Someone said, yeah, it's great for Charlie horses. So true, Jenny. It's it's brilliant for your body, for a neck massage, for a back massage. But as a, and it's also huge, I should say. As a sex toy, it's very large. It's like like using this box. I mean, it's huge. Um, and they do make a plug-in version and they do make a, a battery powered version. And one time I learned that they make a, um, a version that has e-stim electric stimulation. It will actually electric you. I kept holding this toy and then being like, what's happening? Uh, it had e-stim in it. Anyways, all of which is to say that this thing is as powerful as that thing. That's as big as a mother effing tennis ball, but it's yay big. Like literally it fits Oh my God, I touched my nose. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it'll wake your sinuses up. Uh, that's for sure. I've also been using this one, oh my God, a lot to do. I have a lot of jaw tension. It feels really amazing on your jaw. Anyways, that's not the point of this video. What I wanted to talk about with you all today is could this be used to, in a program to desensitize the penis? Now, if you put this on the tip of your penis, it's going to hurt. You cannot put this directly. I can't put it on my nose and I can only almost put it on my clitoris. Like I had to, this is the stronger one. I actually asked the company to please send me this one because this one I thought was going to skyrocket my clit off to the moon. I, it turns out I'm pretty sensitive. They actually designed this for people who are uh, women in particular who, um, have trouble orgasming which unfortunately is not me, but they also uh, designed it for women that have had like a cancer diagnosis or have taken medicines that prevent them from reaching orgasm or prevent them from having sensitivity. This thing is super duper strong. It, it's got like a really easy to grip handle. So even if you have like arthritic fingers, you can like touch it. You basically are like painting on the clitoris. So imagine that like this is the clitoris. The Hitachi Magic Wand is going to be this whole area, but this one you can just get like right on the clitoris itself. It brings blood up to the surface. It feels phenomenal. It's basically like an all purpose tool. And the nice thing is that the clitoris is not equally sensitive across the whole thing. You can kind of divide it into quadrants. So every woman's going to have a different quadrant that's more pleasurable. It's like the upper left or the upper right, lower left, lower right. And this thing allows you to really like pinpoint and target that. But as I said, this one's super strong. So I've got the S. You can see it's got like a bit of a fatter tip. It doesn't go up as high as this one. It's still like uh, when, you know, women's nipples are sensitive, more sensitive at different parts of the month. I could not put this on my nipples d during the most sensitive part for the, for my, for in the month for me. It was still I'm very, I'm a sensitive, I'm a sensitive being. What can I say? Um, but for you, especially men, because your nipples are under t-shirts all day and they're chafing and like rubbing. Uh, if you enjoy nipple play, this could be the um, for you. Uh, John wants to know if I'm trying to sell products. Nope, I'm not. I don't get any money if you buy these. I do have a discount. You can use Caitlin, Caitlin 15 on my zoomio.com. Um, but no, I won't make a single penny if you buy either one of these products. So you can rest assured that I am not trying to sell you these. What I am trying to do is ask you if you think that you could use this to desensitize your penis. Now, the way that I would recommend that you try this is with one of these, a penis sleeve. So this is a masturbation sleeve, right? This happens to be Sasha Gray's mouth. I've got a whole bunch of these actually under my desk.
I've got this cheap one that I like to play and squeeze because it feels good in my hands. I've got a traditional flashlight. Don't you keep like 10 male masturbation sleeves under your desk? Does everybody? Anyway, the way I was imagining you can use this safely is with one of these. So if you have premature ejaculation, I already recommend that you use one of these to masturbate. Uh, because it feels more like the inside of a woman's body. It's going to do a better job of desensitizing you and getting you used to what it feels like to have sex with a woman so that when you go to have sex with a woman, you are more prepared because it's not suddenly like, whoa, it's wet and it's squishy and all that, right? And also, you have total control with your hand, so you can actually manipulate the change a lot, you know, manipulate the way that pardon me, you're creating sensation with your hand. With this, it's going to create a lot of sensation. It's designed to create a lot of sensation. In fact, hang on, I have one more. Just wait. This one in particular oh, is designed by Tenga. It's super fancy. I forget the name of this one. It's the one that has three different holes. The way that you push on it, when you push on different parts of it, it's like playing a flute. Uh, it creates different sensations. Look at this. It's like an icy mystical squishy fake vagina in here it's actually quite sticky which is weird because i cleaned it very well well maybe that's just how it feels anyway i know right super fancy so anyways you put lube in here you close it you slide this thing back over it this side duh Wait on your comments. I would rather have the real thing. Yeah, but sometimes you can't have the real thing. Like, even if you have a girlfriend, she could just be menstruating or out of town, you know, and you get to use this to order in order to practice lasting longer in bed. So with this one, you get an erection, you stick it in here. It, be, I mean, it feels really awesome. The moral of the story is that you take one of these or any of these, any of these, you put yourself in it, you're masturbating with it, and then you apply this toy. So you're in here. I will demonstrate with my finger. Oh, poor Sasha Gray getting the finger. Ooh. Don't worry. I don't think she's got much of a gag reflex anyway. And then you apply this to the outside so you can feel it through this toy. You can push this on the most sensitive part of your penis through this toy. So you're not going to like overly sensitize your skin or hurt your skin at all. So you push it through this toy right on the part that makes you want to blow your load. You put it on the most sensitive part. You all know there's like one little square millimeter of skin on your penis that is like the most sensitive. The part that if you were to just rub that part, you will inevitably reach orgasm before you want to. You approach that part using this vibrator and one of these, it doesn't have to be this one, it could be this one. This was like 18, and this one is cheap, right? you practice by using these two things together, you create the opportunity to desensitize. Now, it doesn't have to be a masturbation sleeve. You could put a different barrier in between you and this toy. You could put a condom. Uh, you could probably apply something. You could put like a little ball, a rubber ball. Uh, you could probably rubber band this tip. I think there's a lot of potential for what you could do with this end. Anyways, this is, this is not meant to desensitize a penis. It's actually, if you have a partner or girlfriend, it's really meant to be used on the clitoris, nipples. You can use it on the anus. Um, I've been using it on my jaw because it feels so fucking good. Honestly, it's like a jawgasm. I, uh, um, but yeah, so the idea here is can you use these? Can you use these to desensitize your penis? I don't know. These are things I was just thinking about on a Saturday night. And I thought instead of just sitting here in my office thinking about it to myself, I might come online and think about it with all my peeps and all the people who I'm here to serve and all the people for whom this is probably really useful information and something really to think about. Okay, send me your questions. Type your questions in. And if you thought this was interesting, useful, give me a thumbs up. We have 39 thumbs up right now and 74 people on the live stream. I bet, I bet, bet, bet that we can get to like, let's say 60. 
Can we get 19 more thumbs ups? Oh, I think we can actually. We just got three right away. So also, if you're interested in things that have to do, how does blowing your wad help with desensitizing? Well, you, you, you don't blow your wad right away. Although even if you do, the next time that you masturbate and you're still using this or any other toy to desensitize your penis, you're going to be one step closer to being able to last. Um, and if you're interested in either one of these toys, myzumio.com, Caitlin15, no, I don't get paid. Yes, this is me promoting a product, but it's not because I, they did, they sponsored a video, but they didn't sponsor this video. I was just playing with these toys. Yeah, I was just playing with these toys. I was. I will not lie to you. Uh, I was playing with these toys and I thought, I bet I could use these for men too. I bet men could use this as well. I bet this could be used for desensitization because it's just so small. You could hit the spot. You could hit the exact spot. Okay, we have 57 likes. I think we can hit 60. Also, if you're generally interested in premature ejaculation or you have premature ejaculation, then check out my course. Check out Come When You Want. I'm sure there's a link in the description. Usually it's like automatically in there. Check out Come When You Want. You get a 30 day money back guarantee. Try my whole course. There's a part on it on different toys and things that you can use. This I didn't know about at the time. Um, I hadn't thought about it. It's all right if you sponsored. Yeah, let's get paid. No, I don't. I really do believe that uh, I, I will ne you'll never catch me recommending something that I don't like or I don't use. Um, because I really just value you all too much. Like, I feel like if I was to recommend something that I wouldn't actually use, then that would be basically like lying to you all. And I don't need to lie to you. Um, yeah, I have a course. I bought, I made a course. I, honestly, I'd rather that you just bought my course than that I made money from companies that are trying to sell you crap. Um, because if you use the actual course, it will change your life. I guarantee that. Oh! Shoot, you know what? Okay, for those people that are still here, number one, we just hit 60. Number two, do y'all want to hear a special announcement? Are you ready to hear a special announcement? I want to type yes into the chat if you're ready to hear that announcement. I love Sasha Gray's mouth. I don't, I, I, I love it. It makes great noises. See, see, see. Hi, Patrick, Adamas. Okay. Yes! Special announcement is... Boom! I'm ready to launch my second course. It's filmed, it's edited, it's back from the editor, it's being uploaded right now. It's literally being uploaded into Kajabi right now. I, for any of you who haven't known, or I don't know how, I don't even know if I've told you guys. Second course is called She Comes To. Y'all, this is not a pitch. She Comes To is the best thing I have ever made. It is my step-by-step -step guide for being the best lover to a woman. Like, how do you make a woman have an epic sexual experience? How do you make her orgasm, different kinds of orgasms, clitoral, vaginal, and I wanna get into the details. Just know that if you've ever felt like you were not confident, if you were ever like, I don't really know what to do, and by the way, if you don't know this about me, I'm bisexual, I have had sex with women and been like, I don't know what to do right now. Like, she's doing this thing, I'm hearing her do that, her clitoris is like this, her vagina looks like that, Vulva is puffy. That's not working. This isn't working. Try this with your tongue. Try this with your, like, it's kind of, it's confusing. It can be kind of complicated. I, I know I've been there. I made this course so that you could be epic in bed. And I made it so that it was super freaking easy to be epic in bed. And then I put all of those in a step-by-step -step course with techniques and tricks and everything. If you've taken Come When You Want, my course on premature ejaculation, you know it starts with, it's like tips, techniques, information, workbook. It doesn't mess around, it's straight up. If you have Come When You Want, will you type yes or C-W-Y-W -W into the comments so I know that there's some people there who have it. If you've tried my Come When You Want course, you already know it's like pretty straight to the point. And you also, if you've watched any of my videos, you subscribe to my channel. First of all, thank you. Seriously. Uh, you know that I'm not really into dicking around. Wait, that was a weird choice of words. I guess I am into dicking around. Um, you can now last, you use my techniques and can now last an hour and 18 minutes. Yes. That's, yes, that's what I like to hear. Uh, I'm a bad girl. Okay, I am a bad girl. Bad girl. 
me and Riri being Rihanna, that girl's. Uh, so if you use my course, you already know, I'm, I'm, unless I eat a lot of chocolate cake and do a live stream on a Saturday night, I'm pretty straight to the point. And she comes to is five modules. It's super straightforward. It's like exactly what to do. I guarantee 100% guarantee that you will learn. So even if you identify as a sex God and you think you literally cannot get better in bed, this course will make you better in bed. And if you're not confident in bed, this course will make you confident in bed. It's honestly going to answer all of your questions. It's going to give you the confidence that you need to approach any woman and know like you can, you'll honestly be able to look at her eyes and say, I'm gonna make love to you and you have never had it this good in your mother in life. It's gonna come out on Black Friday. It's coming out on Black Friday. You're hearing it here. I have not told a single soul. Yes, Ben, that's awesome. Did you just see Ben sums increased his time between one and 10 minutes. That's a thousand percent increase in how long he's lasting in bed. Hell yes, my friend. Yeah, the course works. The course works. So I built She Comes too for all men, but especially for men with premature ejaculation. If every module has a bonus specifically about premature ejaculation. So if you have delayed ejaculation, erectile dysfunction, if you're a woman and you want to be great at sex with women, uh, that mouth is, she's, she's creepy. Don't talk about my girlfriend like that. If you have ever wanted to be great at sex with women, this, this course is for you. It comes out on Black Friday. Uh, that was really just a coincidence that I was able to have it up by then, but I figured, you know what, why not? So on Black Friday, I'm gonna give you, I'm literally gonna discount it by 30%. It's like a 30% off sale on the first day that it's out. After that, it's gonna go back to full price. So if you want to get that course, yo, get on my mailing list. Your ducks make me hard. Thank you, Loai, I guess. Uh, this would be a big plus. I love giving women oral. Yeah. Oh, there's a, there's a module on oral sex. There's a module on finger banging. There's seduction. Uh, there's aftercare. What do you do after sex? Like if you're sitting there and you're like, you, you know, remember that sex for women, especially doesn't just end. What do you do after sex in order to make sure that she's going to want to have sex with you again and again and again and again? Like, how do you seduce her? How do you get her into bed? Foreplay. Intercourse. It literally has it all. It has it all. And I hired three other sexperts to help me to write this course. So it's not just like what I know. It's what four experts in female sexuality together wish that all men could know. It's coming out Black Friday. It's going to be literally like two thirds of the actual. It's going to be super cheap on Black Friday. And then on whatever it's Saturday like pink Saturday. I don't know what it's called after that. But every other day after that, it's going to be full price. So get on my mailing list. I know. I'm sorry. I'm just like playing with <laughs> Sasha Gray's mouth. Um, <laughs> I can't stop it. They're fun. I'm high on sugar. Uh, anyways, so put that in your calendar. Black Friday. Be on my mailing list. If you're not on my mailing list already, my website is in the description. You can go to bettersexcoach.com. There's a pop up there. Sign up. You'll get my free guide. Um, go to my website, bettersexcoach.com, fill out my contact form. That'll get you on my mailing list. Fill out my application form, apply for coaching. Uh, all of those things will get you onto my mailing list. And that way you'll get the announcement and you'll get the link when she comes to comes out on black Friday. I hope you're as, I hope you're as excited as Sasha Gray's mouth is. All right. Just look at how excited she looks. <laughs> She's excited. All right. It's the weekend, y'all. Thanks for spending your Saturday night with me. Before you go, any other questions, any other thoughts, concerns, requests, or desires? We're currently six thumbs up away from 70. Do you think we can do it before we hang up? If you haven't, thumbs this up. Give me a thumbs up. Okay, four left. Leo says, I'm new to your school. My skills have gone down from four hours to 10 minutes. Leo, you're... What about delayed ejaculation? Yes, Ray, if your question... I'm so sorry. We did say we'd answer your question, Ray. Delayed ejaculation, I also firmly believe that you could use one of these. Because again, vibrators, stimulation. Like, this doesn't look like a sex toy. If someone opens your drawer, they're not gonna be like, hey, dog, is that a sex toy in your drawer? You're gonna be like, no, it's actually a massager, a massager for my little muscles in my jaw. And a sex toy. You can do both. If you get both of these, you can be like, you can do like nipple play, be like, it's for, it's for all the ladies that come over. Oh my gosh, we're at 69. Okay, any other questions, thoughts, concerns, requests, desires? 72, we did it! Four hours. I don't believe it, he says. I have some TMJ. Oh, I 100% have some TMJ issues. It's because I 
late at night and I just think about how we're going to fix the sex lives of everybody and it starts like, oh, I got to get back on YouTube and fix the get everybody a better sex. Anyway, that's it for me. I've got to go to a birthday party. I hope you all have amazing Saturday nights. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. Thank you. I love you. Thank you. I love you. If you have more questions, go to my website, bettersexcoach.com, fill out my contact form, get come when you want, and get ready for She Comes To. Okay, bye.